Former employee reveals shocking conditions in New York City migrant hotel. Let's dive into the details, shall we? A former employee is blowing the whistle on conditions and activities inside a trendy Manhattan tourist hotel now housing migrants. Carlos Arlano, the former employee, said the road New York City hotel is a free-for-all as drug, sex, and violence engulf the hotel, which is now one of the city's largest housing areas for migrants. On Fox and Friends weekend Saturday, Arlano detailed a heartbreaking discovery where he claimed to have found a 10-year-old girl drunk in her hotel room with her parents nowhere to be found. He added that it sadly was not a one-off incident. Every day we find about 10 kids alone in their hotel rooms, either drinking or doing drugs. Weapons will be in the room, but we're not allowed to go in there. We're not allowed to take anything from them. It's basically a free-for-all, Arlano said. The row is located in the city's theater district and was once a popular tourist hotel. In light of the migrant crisis, the hotel is no longer open to guests and has become a dedicated migrant hotel for individuals who have completed the trek from the southern border to New York City. While he is no longer working at the row, Arlano shared that he, is, he and other workers had experienced trash rooms, violence in the street, and multiple staff member incidents reports during his time there. Just a lot of people who are very there. They don't appreciate what they have. And they come here with the mindset of the way they live back at their home country. And they think there's no rules or laws to be followed here, he said. Incidents involving children are also common occurrences, like the young girl found intoxicated in her hotel room, Arlano claims. He said hotel staff has little they can do to help, much less to identify the children or their parents. He even shared that employees are not sure whether the children's parents are actually their parents because of fake documents. We find fake passports, fake social security cards, all kinds of fake documents in the hotel every day, he said. Arlano admitted he and other former co-workers felt endangered every day while working at the row. A lot of former co-workers have reached out and are happy that I did the interview. And they're saying this place deserves to be shut down, that they fear for their life every day as well as I do, he said. Despite the prevalence of dangerous activity, Arlano said they are few consequences. There are few consequences, and if there are, oftentimes the migrants are simply processed and sent to a different hotel or housing center. If they are kicked out of the hotel, they get sent to a processing center at Port Authority where they get given a second hotel, Arlano claimed. So say a husband decides to beat his wife up. He will get kicked out and they will just process him into a single man's hotel. So if you break the law, it's not we're going to report it to the proper authorities. It's let's give you a second or third hotel room and you still stay in the city. In a memo from the New York City Office of Management reported by the New York Post, the city will spend an estimated $4.2 billion on costs related to migrants and asylum seekers through June 30th of 2023 and the end of fiscal year 2024. Wow. At the row specifically, it is costing taxpayers around $650,000 per night to house the migrants, bringing in around $500 per night per room. Wow, that's a lot of money. Um, yeah, so they're paying more than a, the hotel would probably even get. I don't know. It was a really nice hotel before, um, before the migrants, you know. I don't really understand. This stuff is just crazy, you know. This is why you don't, this is why you don't, um, have a rhetoric that's, hey, everyone come here. Everyone come here. Because, like, who's going to pay for it? And like this guy says, it's like they're used to their home country. And now they're coming here and they're just all living together. So they're not even kind of mixing in with the rest of the population and seeing how our laws work. No, they're all just, you know, just staying in one place. They probably just mainly just communicate with each other, too. Interesting. Uh, but what is your opinion on this story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for daily news updates, hit that notification bell, and share this video to help spread the news.
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.